Everything depends on the importance of the giver. Only that. The first goal is to have the importance of the giver, of the creator, of the quality of bestowal, the status of bestowing as the greatest thing that can ever be. We're not respecting anything but that. All the rest of the things are depreciated, belittled, extremely. And that has to be a habit, and above the habit, of course, because the habit dissolves the taste, so you stop hearing the meaning behind the words. Rather, as much as possible, we have to listen more and be impressed by the other force in reality. The receiving force is the influenced force, the operated force. It's not a force. It only works within us in order to deflect us from the giver, to allow us to overcome it. That's the only reason it exists. And its whole existence is only in order to respect and grow the giver so as to show us that only it is nature, only it is the governing force, the only thing that exists, and the other receiving force is only there in order to emphasize it as the light excels from darkness. And if a person gives the right attitude, the right relation to these two forces, with always a 99% emphasis on the force of light and the darkness is only in order to emphasize the light, then, in such a way, he certainly becomes uh, more and more thinking uh, from the side of the light, from the side of the giver, to kind of want to move to the other side with his mind and heart. Moshe from Turkey is asking whether giving importance to bestowal depends on my nature or it's predetermined too. The point in the heart within us which erupts and shows its action provides us, even though we're not aware of it, it provides us with the importance of truth, of bestowal. Marco from Italy is asking, how can I know that my action in the group or in the study is correct or that my ego is involved in that? That is according to how much does he demand to absorb the importance of the Creator from his action. Because, as we always say, there is no more the than the importance of the giver. That is what provides us with all the motivation, the power to advance. If he is important, if he shines before me like a star that's pulling me towards it, then I advance. You can describe it as a star that you need to reach, and more accurately, if a person describes it as the force that fulfills the whole of reality, and man is in it, inside of it. That is with respect to the relation to the Creator, and with respect to the quest, the search, the search of the Creator, it's the opposite. The Creator, in that sense, is inside of man, not man within the Creator, but vice versa. Externality and internality here are interchanging. When I speak of the Creator as a source for a search to, to, to look for, then He is inside of me, because 
What's inside of me is more important. If I'm talking about him as operating everything, I describe him as the force that includes everything, as if an external force, but not in the sense of importance, rather in the sense of being all-inclusive.